Hello, welcome to today's class. Today we are taking this O1C variables if statement, if else, and while loop. Okay, we have already done the quiz. Check the channel for the quiz. We are going to do the tax now. So for the tax, these are the requirements that we are supposed to the general requirements. These are the general requirements. Make sure you go through them. Then for today's tax. You see, we are going to be using V, this V editor. Then we are using Ubuntu 20.04. We are using this GCC compiler to run it and using these optionals, optionals also, all these ones, options. We are going to use them. Then our line, we should have a new line at the end of our program. We should create a readme file at the root of our project. Then we should our, our line our our code should be Betty compliance, right? To ensure to check our quiz question on the other video that we have posted. <clears throat> now our best first tax says this program will assign a random number to the variable n each time it is executed. Complete the source code in order to print whether the number stored in the variable n is positive or negative. So no matter the outcome, either positive or negative, the variable should continue to change, right? So you can find the source code here. This is where we can find the source code. Mm -hmm. Then they said the variable n will store different value each time, okay? And, okay, just make sure you read through this once. So if it is negative or positive, if it is greater than zero, it's positive. If it is, if the number is zero, it's zero. If it is lesser than zero, it's negative. Okay. So the first thing we are going to do now is to create this directory in our repository. So copy it, open our sandbox, click on your web terminal, hold on for it to load. Then the next thing you are going to do now is to CD to your, your, your repository. Type L, press tab, it will move faster. Then enter. Then you, we make, you can see now we are in the directory that we want to be. Okay. Now, what do we do? We create, let's ls to see what we have in the directory. This is what we have in our directory. Then the next thing we do here, we are going to make a, a directory here. Okay, make directory. AV, this is the new directory. Let's check if it's here. Fine, we have the directory now. So what we are going to do now is to CD into the directory. Okay, then after we CD into the directory, what in the instruction said we should create a readme file. So how do we create this readme file? Let's go echo echo it's not correct echo colum as our file name. Let's just uh, today is okay variable. Okay o one c uh, if if while loop if while okay I think then we use and this then we say read me md okay once we enter you see check now list is the only file that we have there okay the next thing we are going to do now is to come here copy this variable this file name okay copy it and come we are going to go to um create it, uh, create, a, uh, create a file in V folder, a V editor, in V editor. So press type V, the file name, enter. You see, you're now in the V editor. Press 
the I to insert to enter insert mode, then we'll type the syntax. So because of time, I will pause the video and type it, then I will continue. Okay, thank you very much. So you can see now, um, you can see my screen now. Let me make it big so you can see it very well. So this is the first code you are going to put here. Include this, the, the standard library, then include the time, dot head, include the, the standard input output, then this is your comment, make sure you write it, type it out, and, sorry, let me go back, sorry, okay, and your int, Type in the int main void n, n, then just go through the code. Make sure you type it. You see the way I align them so, so that Betty will not give us it when we are going together. So that is the code. So I believe you can see it on my screen so that you can see it very well. So thank you very much. Let's go back to the Let's let's go back to our terminal. Click on, press the exit key on your button. Press Shift Column X. Okay, then enter. You can see now we have exited. You can see my cursor blinking here because I increased my screen. That's why you see it like this. So let me reduce my screen back so that you we can. Continue. But let me clear the screen. Okay. Now, what do we need to do? We need to we need to change our we need to we need to make our file executable. That is what we are going to do now. So what do we do? We a plus sorry not capital. So a plus x file name. Okay. And you can see that the file, yeah, you can see now that the file is now executable. So let's go and test. Let's go and copy this. You can see. Let's copy it like this. Control C. Because of time, like you type yours. Because of time, I'm copying. So I will see. Oh, you can see that our code has run successfully. So let's go and check if our answer is correct now. So let me go back. Oops, okay. We have not committed. So the next thing we'll do is to send it to our git directory, right? Add all, add all, okay? Now the next second thing you do is commit, commit, m, our first commit to be zero, yeah, and, Okay, then let's do what the sheet. Okay, now ah, all right. So when we come back now to check of our result, you see that the result we just give us if we have any issue to tell us so you have this error, and if we don't, it will just run through straight. So please, oh fantastic! You can see. Please ensure like, and um, ensure please like comment share the link as you can thank you very much